It's hard to believe the day is nearly here. I'm launching on this epic world record journey on my favorite thing, a stand-up paddleboard. The sanctuary that brought balance back into my life in so many ways. I feel like I've come such a long way in my recovery from repetitive TBIs. And whenever I'm not sure if I'll make it all the way, I take a look in the rearview mirror and see all those mountains that I climbed in the past. I'm about to embark on what I believe is the greatest mission of my life. It's bigger than me. And the support has been just overwhelming because there is no way I could do it myself. It'll take a team and we have a great team. You can bet I'm counting on all of you from Texas to New York City and especially all those supporting our military to pitch in along the way. Your company is always welcome on the water. The pace is going to be brutal. I know it's going to be tough, but no tougher than all that I just overcame. And no tougher than what every combat veteran experiences when they get out. My goal is to average 35 miles a day for 3,500 miles and with only a few contingency days planned. And just like in life, there's going to be wind and waves and current, rip tides and storms, uh, but hopefully no close encounters with sharks or crocs in the Everglades. But I know I can make it by focusing on the prize, one paddle stroke at a time. My message is simple and clear. And I'm delivering it from South Texas around the Keys, up the Potomac to D.C., and then right up under the Statue of Liberty in New York City Harbor. My mission is to raise $22 million for the Task Force Dagger Foundation. This is the organization that was there for me in my darkest hour, and just like they are for so many in the special operations community. That's a lot of money, and there's no choice. The status quo is killing us. How many veteran suicides a day would it take to really get America's attention? As if 22 isn't enough. My purpose is so that 7,500 former and active special operations SOCOM members are treated for TBI and PTSD with state-of-the-art and groundbreaking modalities like what's worked for me and that aren't covered by VA or TRICARE insurances. And that then these types of treatments may then flow out to the greater military as well. So the 250,000 cases of TBI and also PTSD in the military receive treatment. And then increased investment in state-of-the-art protective equipment that will drastically increase soldier survivability. And lastly, increased availability of functional medicine modalities that will extend the soldier's performance, career, and life. This is my message. This is my mission. I'm paddling for all those who can't, and I'm speaking out for all those who need help. And I need your support. Thank you.